change this plate forever. <laughs> Like, I think we stopped handyman work and, yeah. and didn't change the blade ever again. I think that was a year ago, a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago, at least. Oh, but you know, still sharp. Still sharp, dude. Still sharp enough. It's the shortcut of shortcuts. You could have, like, multiple shortcuts. You can get it from any angle. I give her a little pressure. Dude. And she's like a jigsaw. Look at this curve. Look at that. Look at that. There's a curve right there, dude. Yeah. You just had to hit it right. Just had to hit it right, dude. Good to go. I should have cut the first one like this. Yeah, it would have been a lot faster. Oh my god. A lot less dust. Because all the white stuff is sapwood and we don't want sapwood because the epoxy will come it'll split right from the edge so we're cutting off most of it and then we have to grind away the rest of it to make sure this epoxy table comes out great right there we gotta go gotta go gone unless you're leveraging full force on the battery. Correct. If you're doing that half force bullshit because you're worried about it breaking, well, get a Ryobi. Get a Ryobi. There are a lot of benefits to owning your own business, and with those benefits comes a heaping load of responsibility. It seems like forever ago we started this Live Edge set. For those of you that missed it, we built a custom flattening jig for large tabletops, which took a couple weeks. Then there was a bunch of shipping delays on the epoxy in the dry room, another couple of weeks. So then we are finally getting into the swing of things, and the virus hits the farm. Let's add another couple of weeks. Our customers have been really understanding this whole time, and we appreciate their patience, which is even more motivation for us to make this project perfect. Anyways, it's time to step on the gas pedal. After this project is done, we are going to start a pedestal table set 
based off of this picture. It's something new, so I think we'll make a dedicated video on the build. We were also able to squeeze in a custom worktop for our buddy Calavera. Well, we actually already started one before we got sick, but we were worried about the quality of the finished product, so we decided to make him something even better. We are taking this to him Sunday when we pick up our new work aprons. Stay tuned for that too. The first top we made wasn't a complete waste of time. We just glued it to our old work table and now we have a badass place to work on the car. Now I know sometime this month we have a big faux beam job to do for a friend, and in February we have another 100 foot Sinker Cypress bar top to make, so sometime soon we may shut down new orders in order to free up a month or two of time in order to focus on infrastructure. We need to get the new shop done before the rainy season, and we have some ideas to make the property more fun for everyone. Maybe we'll just do all that and keep a little flow of work going. Either way, we have a lot of awesome videos planned and I think you guys will enjoy the adventure. Stay tuned.